Howdy. Well, if you've known me for any length of time, you know I'm not prepared for stuff. And that's okay. Because that's just sometimes how you got to live. Like, I didn't have enough um, storage containers. Little, you know, plastic containers. So, I got my dishwasher running in the background. Sorry. Now, <clears throat> if you also know me, I'm new to meat. Not new, but I don't know much about it. Growing up, <clears throat> when mom and dad would cook um, steaks, I would ask for a hamburger. And if they didn't have any hamburgers, I would eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just wasn't really big into meat. Unless it was, you know, crumbled. So, I went shopping last night. This week, I'm going to do a little more meat and a little less veggies. Well, let me tell you what I found that I don't know a thing about, but I'm going to experiment with today. Country style ribs. What's the other one here? Carnitas. I've made carnitas, but I made it with pulled pork. But, eh, why not? So, over here you'll see, and well, let me just turn you up. See that big old stock pot? This is my game plan. I'm gonna take this little thing of carnitas. I hear it sizzling. That's what I cook the steakums in. And I'm gonna go I don't want to touch them yet and get my fingers up. Come on, get in there. Yeah, yeah, you're going. Uh, well, there's one more little fella. He doesn't want to come out with his friends. He says, no, 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 not me. In goes the carnitas. Now let's see, what was this one? Shh. This one was country style ribs. Okay, so this is going in too. need some tongs. Yep. Got some tongs. I'm going to put that on medium. And I'm going to cover it. And we're going to see what happens. Put a little garlic salt on there. You can't go wrong with garlic salt. <clears throat> and something else you're going to see. I know I put a lot on there. Um, this is half no salt, which is potassium, and half regular salt, which is sodium. So when you see me shake a lot of this one on here, it's it's half and half, so you're not it's not as it's not as much sodium as you think. But I like to get some I like to get a little free potassium. on medium. We're going to let those cook. Now let me show you what else I done done. So I bought a bunch of pork chops. So I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. What's this? Oh, that's some steaks. I could probably fry those while I'm working on the other, but I'll, I'll cut first. Good job, Baxter. Just 
minute. I'm gonna wash my hands since I blew my nose. Something else I bought that I've never bought. I don't like, um, I don't like pot roast. There's something about pot roast that's stringy and it gets all in my teeth. Yes, I am that much of a baby. So, <clears throat> I did buy lovely. I did buy a cup of pot roast and I thought, well, hey, maybe I could slice them. Maybe. So, we're going to see if I could slice them into steaks. Because they were only like four, they're only like $4.99 a pound. And I thought, well, I have a serrated knife. I think it's pretty crummy, but I thought, well, maybe, maybe if I could do this at forty four ninety something a pound, I could have my own. Now, since this is a recording, if you get to see it, you'll know I did not cut my hand off. However, if this is never played, unless I'm dead someday, then you'll know I cut my hand off. Now, what to put it on? Probably a plate, huh? That's not too shabby. Look at that. I just made my own steak. All righty. I think I'll do this one too because it's a little extra thick. Hot diggity. I'm not going to make you watch me do all these. But what I do want you to know is that there are cheaper ways of getting the protein and there are cheaper ways of getting your beef and your fat. So, I think I need to cut the middle down on this one. And it ain't got to look pretty, because you know darn well, darn well, it's going to taste good. And you're going to love it. So, who cares if you mutilate it? It's not like it's surgery for a human, but that's a nice little steak there. So I've got three of these, four of these things I'm gonna cut up, and then we'll fry them up here in a little bit. All right, so I'll show you how we fry them later. Okay, so here's what I got out of it. Um, I think I have, so I had a Chuck Tender Roast, and uh, I think that was $4.90, or $5.99 a pound. And that one, I got a bunch of these, these little ones, this, that size. So, yeah, all this meat right here, all I had to do was slice it, and um, now I can, I'm going to pan fry it up, and all this meat right here, these great, to me they're great looking steaks, they're, um, they, it's all $4.99 a pound, and one little bit of it was $5.99 a pound, so instead of buying the steaks, come home and slice it up, and and grill it or whatever it is you want to do with it. I'm going to uh, pan fry that. And I'll show you a little bit as I get closer. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, 
I moved my uh, pork stuff back there and I've got a skillet here and a skillet over here and some seasonings. So for my cooking fat, I'm using some bacon grease left over from last week. And I'll add butter maybe a little bit, I'll see, or ghee, we'll just kind of see what I add when I need to add it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that dissolve. There are some sticks. Oh, yeah. Got a cast iron here, a non-cast iron here. This was dirty, so definitely gonna use it up. I put the cast iron on the little one uh, of a little burner back here because cast iron is so good at spreading the heat. So it can handle being on the wrong size burner. So now I'm just going to start. I don't season my meat before I put it in the skillet. Half the time, again, I don't prepare. I am all about being willy-nilly. <clears throat> the more willy-nilly, the happier I am. There we go. <clears throat> so now that that's all in there, I'm gonna get some seasonings on it. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this uh, all-purpose Greek seasoning. And this is some stuff I got at that Tuesday morning, couldn't even tell you what it is. Some kind of garlic and onion. This is garlic and herb, salt free. And of course you got to have garlic salt. <clears throat> so that's going on. And that's gonna cook about seven minutes or five, whatever. I'll give it six minutes. I like mine medium to medium rare, so I don't like mine super done. And I'll tell you what I usually do, because when I take this to work, I don't want to take a steak knife with me. So what I tend to do, uh -oh. Um, what I tend to do is, after it's all cooked up, I'll cut it up into bite-sized pieces and put it in containers. So that way I don't have to bring a steak knife with me to work. One less thing to carry. I'll put a little of this in here too. Why not? A little Greek seasoning. There we go. Now, need some new tongs. Because I dropped those other tongs. A little bit of potassium and sodium. There we go. I'm not going to make you watch this, but in four minutes, I'll turn it over. Okay, it's time to turn them. So this is what the underside looks like. That's the back underside of that big one. And this is one of those uh, chuck roast thingies. Loin or something like that. Uh, this was just a piece off of something. So I flip them over. And I put them back down. Now, it's very important that they stay moist under there. So I put a little oil olive oil in there. I'm, these aren't quite as done, so I'm going to wait a little bit. So let me reset the timer for this side. Uh, timer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do seven. I'm going to go ahead and... These are kind of warm sitting over here by the by the thing. Not too bright. I haven't always been known for being the smartest crayon, the brightest crayon, whatever. A 
by George I was when I got all this for $4.99 a pound. I need to get me a new knife. I need a fancy knife. That's what I need. That's what I'm going to have to get me. A fancy knife. I'm trying to open my ghee here. That's just some cheap ghee from um, the Aldi's. Just, ghee doesn't, uh, ha has a nice high uh, smoking temp, so it's good to use. I think olive oil's smoking point's a little bit lower. I'm going to put a little bit over here. Get in there. Go ahead and flip these boogers. I'm not picking up my cast iron, no offense, but I'm not burning my hand. I do have a handle for it, though, you know, a little cover, but yeah, it's not worth it. You saw the others, so you don't have to see this one, too. So I'm going to finish cooking up all the rest of that meat that you saw on the plate, and then I'll give you a look about how it looks then. It smells so good if you could smell in this house. Someone might say, Terry, why are you always wearing your pajamas on Saturday in your videos? Well, I decided to pour my, my pork stuff into my crock pot. Because I thought, well, that's just kind of a waste of day. Just go on and let it be in the crock pot. So I did. And, well, yeah, you see what happened there. So, that is why in my videos you will see me wearing these little pajama tops because now this, I didn't just ruin a shirt that I wear to work and uh, that I now can no longer wear to work because being pajamas I don't wear them to work. So, yeah. So that is why you guys see me wearing pajamas on every time in my videos. So I have another look. Yeah, here's another one. Ooh, that's heavy. All right. Anyway, so that's my, that is my tip. My tip is to, uh, Wear an old shirt when you're doing your food prep during on the weekends. Even if people make fun of you for wearing your pajamas. Wear an old shirt or pajama shirt. Okay, <clears throat> so I got it all weighed out. Each little container has about 13, 14 ounces. So I have seven containers and those will be my second meal of the day. Um, so... First meal of the day is going to be my steakums, and I promise I'll get you a better video next week. I'm so sad that it was like 19 minutes. So this is going to be steak and eggs. So I did steakums, so that'll be my first meal after my coffee, and then just straight up steaks. That's I cut them up, like I said, so I don't have to take a knife to work. So that's going to be my meals this week. I'll have my Bulletproof coffee, um, which I will not be adding protein to because, I mean, that's plenty of protein. I'm doing a little bit uh, trial run of the carnivore thing. So <clears throat> going to be doing foods that come from animals. So, and I'll let you know how that turns out too. That's the carnitas and stuff that I was doing in the stock pot that I'm now doing in the crock pot. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.